Hello again everyone. This is a 1960 Philco Safari solid-state black and white television. Solid-state set that was new technology and Philco had developed transistors so that's what they used in this and it was considered a portable TV used 21 transistors, 12 diodes, two high voltage rectifier tubes, and a two inch CRT. It had a spherical mirror that magnified that two inch CRT up to an acceptable viewing size. It was AC-DC, and what I find interesting is if you purchased a rechargeable alkaline battery, that battery would last approximately four hours and it could be recharged, but only up to 20 times. When it was introduced in June of 1959, retail price on the Safari was $250. But if you wanted it to be a truly portable TV that would run on a battery, you had to purchase that rechargeable alkaline battery, and that would cost you an additional $5.25. When I purchased this, it was in a rather large box and it was pretty heavy it kind of surprised me this thing weighs 15 pounds not a very light portable TV but using the internal battery you could take this out as long as you were close to a TV station raise the antenna and pick up some stations and watch it outside and it also works on AC, so you could use it in your house too. This one is in okay shape. It's going to need some help. Uh, the cover doesn't look too bad. I think we can clean that up and this front will clean up, I'm sure. Handle still intact. The handle holders need some attention. Let me lay it down here and I'll show you the base. Seems to be all there. Kind of loose, but I think we can straighten that up. Uh, battery cover. That's just from age. That's kind of warped up. We'll work on that too. Uh, still has, I guess, the original battery in it. There's a battery in there. I haven't taken it out. You think it's bad? Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. I haven't tried to clean the mirror. It's pretty dirty up in there. There's a CRT. Here's a back view. We got some separation here. Possibly that can be fixed. I uh, won't know that I get it pulled out. It is top grain cowhide. It says it right there. And here's a cord I got with this, which will work. It's not not the right cord for it, but you can see it plugs in so. Some of the new cords will. That's what that is. Antenna's broken. The main part's still there, but the inside's broken off. So we'll see if we can do something about that. Now you probably noticed the main problem with this. The hood's missing. These originally had a a cover that went over this and you raised up on it and it hinged back out of the way where you could watch the set. Then when you were done you just folded it back down and it protected the set. So we're going to try some things on that. The only way I could find one would be to find another set that has a cover on it and when you see those they're not not really cheap, so 
we're going to do, see what we can come up with on our own. Try to make one or make something at least to have a cover on this to where it looks close to original. Knobs are all here, which that's a good thing. This tuner seems to be super loose, like it's supposed to be over in that position. And it's kind of cocked to the side. You can see there. So we'll have to address that, figure out what's going on there. Luckily, there is schematics available for this. Uh, I just downloaded this off the Early Television Foundation website. This is a Sam's Photo Fact 475, dated February of 60. So we should have everything we need here to try to get this thing going. The schematics. There's the layouts of the circuit boards and the tuner. And there's a capacitor layouts, parts list, new resistor layout, upside down piece. Uh, there's the rear of the cabinet with the cover removed. There's some more pages to this, but I think these will get the job done. Didn't print all of them. I think there was I think 20, 25 pages or so. I printed probably 10 or 12. Should be good enough. Here's all we get when we turn it on. No vertical sweep, so we're not going to leave it on very long. I do have the contrast turned down. So the plan is on this little set, we're going to, first thing we're going to do is try to restore it and get it working. And if that turns out okay, then we'll concentrate on the case and do a little cleaning on it and, and come up with something for a hood here on the front. So looking forward to getting into this thing about being solid state. Whenever I was working, we had a TV repair shop and I got in on just a later part of tube type sets. So most of the repairs we did were solid state sets. So kind of anxious to get into this and see if I can figure out what's going on and get it get it working again. So we'll be doing some repair videos on this set. Be looking for those. Thanks for watching. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, how about giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. Thanks.